guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a first impressions for you guys. It's going to be on a brand that I've never tried before and that is Zoeva. I have used their brushes but I've never tried their makeup before. So I did pick up the Naturally Yours palette. Um, I did treat myself to this for Christmas and I'm so, so, so excited to use it. This is what the inside of the palette looks like. I will give you a kind of close-up of it just so you can see what it looks like up close and personal there are 10 shades in this palette and I do feel like you do get a decent amount of product in each pan you get 1.5 grams which is about how much you're expecting to get in a MAC eyeshadow this palette here retails for around 40 Australian dollars and you can pick it up from Sephora so the first thing that I'd like to comment on with this palette is the fact of how thin the packaging is it's very very thin However, I do feel like my shadows are very safe in the palette. I don't feel like any space was wasted, but I don't feel like any space was compromised in creating this packaging. And also the design on it is just absolutely gorgeous. They do have a few palettes in the line and they do have all different patterns on the front, which I think is adorable. Um, if this palette is good, then I'm going to buy them all. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to swatch the palette and then I'll show you guys what they look like. Can you guys see like how amazing those shadows swatched? I cannot believe it. The bottom row I definitely find is a lot better than the top row, but still the top row is gorgeous. I think the only one that kind of lacked when swatching it was this Forever Yours shade, which is this one here. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take my Zoeva 222 Luxe All Over Shader Brush and I'm going to go in with the shade First Love, which is this one here. And also props to Zoeva for actually naming their shadows. I'm just going to apply this to my brow bone. Ooh. This is a matte shade, by the way. I also want to quickly mention that, as always, I did prime my eyes with MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot, so I do already have an eye base on. Okay, that shade is an amazing highlight. I'm sh it looks a little bit crazy now, but I'm sure when I have other eyeshadows on, it will kind of mesh together. Okay, so I do want to quickly talk about the palette itself. There are five matte and five more metallic shades. I say metallic for the pure fact that they're not glittery by any means and they're not sparkly. They do definitely have a more metallic metal feel to them rather than glitter and shimmer. Don't get me wrong, I love my glitter, but I feel like if I want glitter, I will add that separately. So I feel like these shades are just absolutely perfect. Anyway, getting back into the look, I'm going to take my Zoeva 228 crease brush and I'm going to go in with this shade called Soft and Sexy, which is just a matte brown shade. And my goodness, it is so pigmented. I need to tap off the excess there. Woo, lordy. I like how these shadows don't have a lot of fly up. Um, I do mention that a lot and I hate it when you dip your brush into a shadow and then all this powder just flies up. Like, why does it do that? So this palette doesn't do that at all, so, so far, so good. This color, the soft and sexy color, it's very, very buildable. Also, I wanna quickly mention that I'm not experiencing any fallout whatsoever, which is amazing. Okay, so I feel like doing a bronzy eye today, so I'm going to take this Smooth Harmony shade, which is this one here, just on my finger, and I'm going to apply that to the first half of my eye, just on my finger. That shade definitely isn't too dark, but it does add a lot of definition to the eye because it is a slightly more shimmery tone, which is really, really pretty. It catches the light amazingly. So I'm just going to take this shade that's called Sweet Sound, which is the super, super metallic bronzy shade. I'm going to apply that to more of the center of my eye. Oh my goodness, this shade is gorgeous. I feel like these shadows would go amazing wet as well. Woo. And then I'm going to take this shade here, which is called Lovely Monday, and put that on the outer portion where I didn't put any shadow yet. This is more of a taupey bronzy shade. I don't even know if taupey bronze was even how I was supposed to describe that, but you guys know what I'm saying. You can see it. It's this one here. 
I feel like on camera the eyeshadows are definitely showing up a lot more dull than in real life and I'm not exactly too sure why. Now I'm going to be using a shade, it's called Casual Elegance, which is this shade in the palette, which on my hand is this one right here. How intense is that? I want to pop that on the inner corner. Yes. Yes. You guys have no idea how long I've been looking for an intense inner corner highlight for. No joke. And this just ticks all the right boxes for me. I'm going to go in with a little bit more of Soft and Sexy. Tapping up any excess. Just going to pop a little bit more of that highlight shade underneath my brow bone. I'm taking a clean Zoeva 227 brush. And I'm just going to fade in the highlight with my transition shade. Okay, now with my Luxe Petite Crease Brush, which is the number 231 from Zoeva, I'm going to go in with the shade Forever Yours, just a teeny tiny bit, and I'm going to apply that to the crease as well. This shade is definitely a lot less pigmented than the others. Now I'm just going to take this matte brown shade, which is called Slow Dance, and I'm just going to apply that to the outer corner and kind of just deepen up the crease a bit. I'm just taking a little bit of this soft and sexy shade again on a Zoeva 230 Luxe Pencil Brush. I'm just going to apply that to the lower lashes. Okay, I'm starting to get some fallout. I can see it on my cheeks. I'll need to brush that away. I'm going to take that small detail shader brush, the 237 again, and I'm going to go in with the shade Sweet Sound, and I'm going to apply that to the center of my eye. And now I'm also going to go in with the shade Slow Dance, which is just that matte brown, and I'm going to go on the outer corner. Okay, so I'm just going to go apply some fake eyelashes and a bit of mascara. I will be right back. Okay guys, so I'm back. I did put on some fake eyelashes. I put on the Lotus Lashes in the shade 504. Um, this is probably my third time wearing mink lashes ever and I don't really know how I feel about it, but we're going to roll with it. Um, I feel like I want to darken up the look just a tad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix the dark brown with the with the black shade together and then I'm going to pop that in the crease. Do you guys like this side better or this side? I feel like I like this side just a tiny bit more. And now I'm just going to pop a little bit on the lower lashes as well. Okay, final thoughts on the palette. There is one shade that I feel like is lacking in the palette and that's definitely Definitely, definitely the Forever Yours shade. I do feel like it just swatched not as nicely as the others. So bear in bear that in mind if this is your favorite shade out of them all. It's not as pigmented as the other shades in the palette. But I am quite happy with the matte to shimmer, shimmer distribution of this palette. I don't feel like they've overdone the palette with too many shimmers or too many mattes. I feel like it's just the perfect balance. I feel like I can create a lot of looks, especially starting from very light to very dark and all in between. I love that about this palette and how versatile it would be, especially if you're only wanting one neutral palette to create many looks. I do feel like this could do it for you. Um, Definitely go in store or look online for other swatches and other people's opinions on it though. Don't just take my word for it. Um, I do feel like it is a good palette and I will definitely be picking up a few more Zoeva palettes in the future. I'm very impressed. And yeah, I don't really feel like there's anything else for me to say. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Comment down below what you'd like to see from me next and I will see you next time. Bye.